Shalom Ambazonia. Good morning. Today na Sunday number 17 day for this month of March 2024. My name na Kapo Daniel, wona own countryman, sense past king, Mr. No Kony, wona welcome to our daily podcast. A program where they bring una the truth. It bring una update and meaningful information. Fact-based analysis for help we as we work out for this journey to our freedom. To the independence of Ambazonia. Our country people at home and abroad are bring una all revolutionary greetings. The identity of a people is tied to their pride, their confidence, their self-worth, even their nationality. Identity is culture. Culture is value. Culture is pride. It's our heritage. All these things are interwoven in who we are, how we see ourselves, and how we connect with each other. For those who have traveled abroad, it makes a lot of difference When you meet a black man who comes from your country, you will exchange number with the people you meet on the street simply based on where you come from. When you meet somebody, you greet the person and you say, where are you from? He said he's from Congo. You walk away. When you greet somebody and he says he comes from, he's an Anglophone from Cameroon. You exchange number because that connection means a lot. You have a lot in common. You have a common destiny. You have a common culture, you understand yourself, you relate with each other. This bond is stronger than everything. That will take us into today's podcast. Today is St. Patrick's Day, a very important day in the culture of all Anglophones and English-speaking people globally. I will come to that. If you look at the podcast profile picture today, the picture, the display picture of the profile today, you will see my conversation with uh, Senator Henry Kemende, who was killed in Bamenda. Unfortunately, some of the casualties of extremism that we have amongst ourselves, that does not make no sense. The reason why I put this my conversation with him is to show some of our people the conversation and how deep he was in what we do and fighting for our people in his own way. There are millions and millions of our people I always tell our people, all Anglophones are Ambazonians. All Ambazonians are Anglophones. We are all people of the same country and the same culture. All of our politicians, the vast majority, are for the people's struggle. We have been having conversation, whether it is Frundi, whether it is no need to call the names of people, but every Anglophone have a stake in this struggle and all of them have been a part of this journey in Ambazonia. It is just that along the way, we became so radical, we dismissed common sense, and we were being pushed to the margin, not by people who were thinking well, but by people who wanted to eliminate political competition in power dominance. The power dominance have been the biggest corruption in our struggle. You also have people who are there for financial reason, people who are there for fame. We don't work with all our people them, and we feel tell on how we this struggle it don't go so far, and we we now need to always get that advice. Without much ado, we want to go back to the subject of today, when a Sunday Saint Patrick's Day. Culture it means a very important thing for every people that life. Plenty of our Ambazonians and Anglophone brother them, they define themselves say that they over drink Guinness. When they go for some occasion, they drink Guinness more than they drink Brazaris Mimbo. So when this struggle will be start, I will advance the banning of Brazaris way it be succeed, the campaign be succeed. Most of our groups they be adopt them eventually. It became a principle where I push them through social media and we end up for ban Brazaris. I will tell you the reason why and how this is be this be very important. And for remind all Ambazonian them, whether you be Catholic or not for celebrate St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's Day, I just talk about some man for, for Ireland, where if you go, they be kidnapped, if you end up escape, if you come enter for some island for the 
he spread Christianity. They did just celebrate the day by drinking Guinness. Most people they go out for drink and they drink Guinness. All Anglophone them, they did drink Guinness all over the world more than they did drink any other drink. Because Guinness, alcohol, socialism, it get an impact to our identity and our heritage. No be so the one copy a white man that think they be important and I go tell now why. When I look when it comes for MTN and Orange, many Anglophone they begin na MTN. They always use MTN, many Francophone they use Orange. Because MTN na an Anglophone company we come off of South Africa. It is dominate for all non semak zone. Nigeria, Ghana, South Africa, Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, all those Anglophone zone them, they will be dominated by MTN. They get good connection with international monetary connection connectivity them globally. So when the MTN it become for Cameroon, it be naturally want for invest more on the Anglophone side. Their staff member them be being an Anglophone speaking people. They understand English way. Just like when you meet up a complete stranger for diaspora, once the person come up for your area or when I get something in common, when I born. So this English company, they born easily with us. Eventually, time with this war, it will start Cameroon, it will say, the MTN, it will give we a lot of advantage as Anglophone. Number one, they will provide we English speaking services them. You get things like YouTube, Facebook, we own an English company them. They will give them free because they get better connection with them. The French company them, then get their own association where they promote their culture, their socialism, where they come along with France, Africa. Then get their card, then get their TV, TV sang, then get all their own things where they promote them, including their own papito them. All these things are very important in shaping the identity and the culture of a people. Because the French system, a predatory system where they want to destroy we, Wait till we they don't realize and say after this war, me then try to destroy MTN. Make a me their price and go up. Make a me they pay more tax. Try for infiltrate them, me then put their staff them for the bear. It'd be impossible for get plenty of Francophone staff them. Because the headquarters of MTN group won't talk not only English. They will prefer English speaking people them. So wait till we the French government did it do, where did it do one for La Republic? Did it come for take over our companies, dilute them, end up destroy them? replicate them and then put their own before Bra guinness company for instance ambazonia it be dinner for victoria for play that they call and today say they don't call and say limbe it be been a big base the biggest brewery company for southern cameroon it not be been a mistake say it be been a guinness now because of our link with the english speaking system globally saint patrick's day be always be celebrated with people the way they drink they did get free drink on that day it will be a beer festival these culture and celebrations are very important. I will encourage all Ambazonians to go out there and celebrate St. Patrick's Day. Not like a religious day, but more as a cultural identity thing. The Francophone government, they can take over this Guinness, transfer them from Victoria to Douala, because they want to do two things. Dilute them, they will start making sure that the quality for the Guinness it will be low, and up replace them. They don't stop the MTN, the, the Guinness, their advertisement, the way it be to take over their culture. You begin my campaign for South Africa, all the symbol them for Guinness, where they be to promote the English culture. They be see and say it make our people they be attached to our language. Our language will become more global. Then decide to stop all these things. And we need to understand this cultural war where they go on and know how important it be. If you look the advertisement for Brasaris, it always get a cultural expression of things where they be francophone. You look and for Guinness, you always get the one will be Anglophone, no be for mistake. So make we wise up about this cultural war and identity war for know how to preserve and enhance our own as a people the way they be under attack culturally as well. If you not be noticed, time where the British people they become, you will be in a Baptist church, a Fresica be being a Baptist, Baptist and Presbyterian church they will be the dominate our area. But the church will be entered for Francophone side, it will be in a Catholic church. So they will do all things for transform and promote Catholic church inside our territory more than they will do for allow Baptist church and Presbyterian church inside Francophone zone them. All these two things, they will go together. It does not mean that one is bad, one is good, because after all, we are Africans. 
but our heritage is tied to our identity, is tied to our culture, and we must be aware of these things, lest we be blindsided. My fellow Amazonians, without doing things methodically, systematically, with, without principles, you cannot succeed in life. One of the things where our struggle is and suffer is a lack of precedence, lack of principle, lack of value and common ethics and rule for lead we so that everybody could be in line or man go know which we be. Now one of the things is we do struggle for push and for this struggle, we do be very difficult. We just want to do things anyhow, anyway. Things say you could lead we forward. Now big mistake. We need to understand the principles of justice, the principles of precedence. Now why do we insist for educate our population? For tradition, they always take people for customary court because those people then know what they call them precedent. What is precedent? Precedent means say the thing we've been do and before you must repeat that the same thing. Always get the first thing as a reference point. For example, if you talk say if man be thief one banana, then punish you with ten cane for a buttocks. Tomorrow, if so another man he go thief banana. Before the one punish that man, they will talk say some case be the way some man be thief banana and how be punish he will be given a ten cane. So the person with thief banana, they will give it 10 cane. Then if you can give it 20 cane, it will be an injustice because why they be give some man different punishment, can they give some man different punishment today? All these principles then be very important for life, even as we act collectively for know how to maintain precedent. Throughout this struggle, you get PLO Lumumba that I advise our people then, identify your enemy so that you can be able to focus. Do not use excessive force or inappropriate use of force. It will not help us. It will be counterproductive. Do not in, don't give inflict pain on your own people. That's why we call for the uplifting of that roadway that the blocker for inside Batibo. It does not help us at at all. So we need to know all these things them and learn how to apply them. We don't provide for our people comprehensively, ethics and code of conduct. Our enemies na the Cameroon military because na war. We we'll be fight the war na self-defense. So we need to defend ourselves against which way did they do them. And as the war they go, we observe which way did they do them. Are they still doing the same thing? Are they trying to change? Can we pursue the path of peace? Why did we fight this war? The Cameroon government then dismiss us. They start killing our people, burning down our villages. Killing anybody who stands for Ambazonians' right. The war now against them, the Cameroon military and their government where they did represent them. Does this mean that anybody who works for the Cameroon government becomes the enemy of Ambazonia? No. Our people have to be educated about these things because the extremists will push the boundary and will start taking action against our own people, undermining the very struggle that we are fighting for. The example of our collaboration with Henry Kemende should help educate our people to understand that all Ambazonians are one. We all want freedom and we are all fighting this struggle together. No matter whether it is an Anglophone in the military, in the Cameroon civil service, they are all together with us. But there are people due to one thing or the other who find themselves in the enemy's camp. That does not make them the enemy. Majority of them are the asset that we have and we must know that you win war by making more friends become more sympathetic and making it easy for everybody to identify themselves with our cause we have to campaign to encourage musicians artists to feel comfortable to associate themselves with our struggle if our struggle is transformed by actions that goes against our own people it makes that job very difficult we must give clear guidelines we cannot keep Peter and allow John go free. At the end of the day, we punish our poor people and allow the rich ones to go free. We must have the same standard. Those who associate themselves with the Cameroon military operation on the ground, those who call for the Cameroon military on the ground, those people should be categorized as part of Cameroon instrument of war and as such they become legitimate war Target. Those who have nothing to do with the Cameroon military should never 
ever be touched. To touch them is attacking Ambazonia core, is destroying our struggle. We must have clear instruction and guidelines for our people who are living in Yaoundé, who have nothing to do with the Camaro military, who wants to visit their home. They should call back home and take permission and explain their mission. If they are coming to bury somebody, if they are coming there to visit family, our forces, because they are in a position where the enemy have access to them and leverage over them, they should inform our boys. That is what we have been doing. People want to visit home. They will call us, we will arrange for passage so that when they come there, we don't look them as having sus suspect activities or coming to undermine the security of our soldiers who are there or to corrupt our civilians to point out the hideout of our soldiers, including our people who are in the Cameroon army. If you are an Ambazonian soldier, you catch somebody who is from the Cameroon army, you don't have the right to kill that person or to humiliate the person or to take the person into the bush simply because that person is a Cameroon army. You cannot go to the village and start targeting people simply because they have people who are working in the Cameroon army. That is immoral, that is wrong, that is counterproductive. Our brothers who serve in the Cameroon military are our asset in ways that I will not even put out there. If they want to visit their village, if they are coming to cry die, we must give them access when they ask. They cannot come without announcement. They cannot come without asking those who are holding the vanguard. But access must be provided with care and due diligence. We must respect the death. We must respect those who mourn for their loved ones. No Ambazonian soldier should take money from people who are coming to bury their death. People who accompany the dead body of their relative, if they are members of the Cameroon government or members of the Cameroon military, they are supposed to pay a fine, not for the cops, but for the measures that the soldiers might take to secure their own security. Because that will mean they will have people to mine you, to monitor you, they have to be careful when you come there not to take advantage of your presence there to gather intelligence. So it is natural for certain people who want to come back with their cops to be expected to give something to the boys. But this should never be a tax. This should be on a case-to-case -case basis. Our boys must have these ethics ingrained in them if we have to fight collectively. The Ambazonian People's Right Advocative Platform will unveil a comprehensive ethics for our people on how to conduct ourselves during this resistance. We will also provide for our people a comprehensive stance and bargain which we push for in this devolution as an alternative solution to war. I must admit we are a little bit behind schedule and we eventually we will unveil to our people the comprehensive negotiation package which we are bargaining for our people. Those of us who have taken the responsibility for this war are the competent one to speak for you and to present your interests. Those who seek to speak for Ambazonia but have not taken the responsibility of speaking for the interests of our people when they needed them the most will not speak for us in negotiation. Those who have not taken the responsibility to defend the interests of our people in Bamenda why they have blocked the road in Batibo cannot speak for the interests of the Ambazonian people as a whole. Those who stay quiet why innocent Ambazonia are being murdered cannot speak for Ambazonia as a whole. Those who stay silent and did not campaign for our students to come back who were migrating into a land which we were accusing for genocide cannot speak properly and are not competent to speak for the best interests of our people. Who will speak for the best interests of our people we will fight for our people's right and will release our prisoners, bring back our refugees and bring back peace and development in a just settlement of this war. That we promise our people that we will fight for. Capo Daniel, looking out for you, signing off. <laughs>